Hey guys, Basic Dad here again, another video. It's been a while, been on vacation, school started back. So we're just gonna do something quick and simple today. We're gonna make Spam egg and cheese sliders. I've got some canned Spam, some American white cheddar, got an egg, we'll use an egg ring, some Hawaiian, um, King Hawaiian rolls. And then I got this little meat slicer, Japanese meat slicer that I got off of Amazon. I'll post the link below. We're gonna use that to spice the, or slice the Spam. And we're gonna make some ham and cheese sliders. I grew up on Spam. And let's take a look at here at the ingredients. Pork with ham. There's, you know, a lot of people think Spam just kind of has a bunch of additives into it. It's just pork and ham. Spam. Um, this is gonna be so good, it's gonna be so fast, it's gonna be so easy. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna open up this Spam. It's probably got a little bit of liquid in it, that's okay. We're gonna dump it out here. All right, nice, we got it there on the plate. We're gonna bring this um, meat slicer into view here. Get that open here. Opens from this direction here. We'll set the spam just in there like that. Let's get that plate out of the way. Bring this in for a closer view. Make sure we really got that lined up. And then we're just gonna come along. Oh, that really did a nice job. Cut the Spam up in nice, even sections. So we'll take the Spam off of here, get that up, and we'll get the uh, Blackstone set up, and uh, we'll get cooking. All right, let's get the Blackstone set up. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna set the temperature. I'm probably gonna cook this Spam, I don't know, about 375. And that'll be the temperature I'll cook the eggs at too, slow and low. Got it set. We'll wait for it to come up to temperature. Okay, we've got the Blackstone up to temperature. I'm gonna come along and drop these evenly sliced Spam onto the Blackstone. Hear that sizzling already? I don't know about you guys, but just the smell of this reminds me of being a kid. Yeah, that's right. I grew up on Spam as a kid. Okay, we'll get those dropped down. All I'm looking to do is just kind of brown this Spam up, heat it up all the way through, and then uh, we'll get going on the egg. As this Spam is cooking up, I just wanted to kind of give you a sense of the Hawaiian King Roll. What'll be nice about a roll this size with how this is sliced is I can cut these in half and then double layer it up with some cheese and some egg in there. That's gonna be so fantastic. Maybe with a little mustard and mayo. We're gonna let these cook maybe three to four minutes on each side, maybe up to five, just depending on um, how much of a, a crust I'm trying to get on this spam. Okay, this has been going now for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna come around and flip it over. Oh, look at that. That nice sear on there. I'm gonna flip the rest of this over and uh, continue cooking this up and then we'll start the eggs. That's exactly what you're looking for for that Spam. Nice kind of golden crust. This It's already smelling fantastic in here. Got all that Spam flipped over. It just looks gorgeous on this side. We're gonna let it continue to cook on this side and then we'll drop those uh, eggs down. All right, as this uh, Spam continues to cook up, I'm gonna drop the egg. This is just two beaten eggs here. I'm just dropping them in to kind of be thin. This is what I'll be able to, I'll show you what I'll use to uh, make, make the eggs the right size for the uh, sliders. Yeah, just kind of cut those eggs in half and flipped them over just to make sure they're done on both sides. Those eggs are nice and done. I'm gonna pull those off. While we will continue to wait for those uh, that Spam slice to slice up, I'm gonna put some uh, butter down, not because I need it for non-stick, but I just wanna put these 
sliced up Hawaiian king rolls down to get them nice and toasty. So we'll get the rest of these down and uh, we'll be almost ready to build this uh, slider. All right, got all the uh, Hawaiian king rolls down, toasting up. We'll let those go for about a minute. And uh, this spam is about to wrap up and we'll get building these sliders. The spam is uh, done. We're just gonna come along now and we're just gonna pull the spam off. And so here, let me show you what I'm gonna do for these eggs to make sure I can get those for the right size for the uh, sliders. I'm just gonna come along here, pop these off. We'll probably get three or four out of these. And then we'll just stock the rest of the eggs up on there. Okay, let's build these sliders. I've got some cheese that I'll put. I've got some, some of that Spam that we'll put on there. Put one of those eggs on top and we'll put another piece of cheese. I'm going to keep going with these and uh, we'll see how we end up. Right, we're going to drop a little mayonnaise and mustard down on these for flavor. Never go wrong with mayonnaise and mustard. All right, let's give one of these a taste. Oh, that Spam is perfectly cooked. Brings back memories of my childhood. Mixed in with the cheese, the mayonnaise and mustard, that Hawaiian King Rolls sets it off. So I, I could probably have 52 of these and still want more. But hey, to all my subscribers, everybody leaving comments, thanks for watching. Keep the comments coming. Just a simple, quick Spam Egg and Cheese slider. Let me know what you would have put on it. If you wouldn't have used Spam, what would you have used? Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button.